Hello YouTubers, this is a new session where I get to walk you through something a lot of developers, you know, kind of need when they're, you know, it, it actually extends beyond developers, but, you know, as a software developer, sometimes you feel like you want to do some advocacy, you want to put something out there on the web, super quick, super fast, but you also want to put something out there that you can modify later and manage, you know, so not your, you know, static classic content, just put HTML and JavaScript out there and just let it fly. It's more like, you know, I want to create something like a blog or a static site to do some interactions later. And, you know, in the .NET community, people that like to do C -sharp .NET, you know, they always kind of come across this problem, right? Well, what should I do? Should I do a WordPress? Should I do Joomla? Should, what should I do, right? Um, in the .NET world, you know, there are many, many options that are equivalent to WordPress. So you don't have to go learn PHP and stitch together some plugins and, you know, PHP at this point in time, you know, and for a .NET developer is quite you know challenging and it's challenging even as an industry wide you know that there's anything specifically wrong with the language but your the transition is kind of hard right you want to minimize the transition between what you're familiar with if you're a c-sharp.net developer and things that you're doing on the internet to kind of provide content and all that so I did a little bit of research and I come across a very interesting content management system fully open source for you written in .NET called Umbraco Umbraco is the simplest I've ever seen in my whole life. It's really simple to install. It's simple to modify. You know, it's it's working already with the tools that you're familiar with. You can run it in Visual Studio. You can start debugging, click play, you know, download, run, play, build, bu build, run, play, and deploy to Azure if you want to. And what I'm going to do here today is just basically really show you how to do something like this, right? So let's just get started with something as simple as um, a command line. So I'm just going to spin up a CMD and I'm going to go to this stop here. This stop and I'm going to go to my website, right? So this is an empty directory. There's really nothing in there. I don't have one of these fancy command line, you know, um, <laughs> tools. So uh, bear with me here. If you look here, if I do a directory there's literally nothing in there right so I'm just gonna um, you know clear that up and then I'm gonna install Umbraco right I'm gonna install I'm gonna start from nothing right so I'm gonna show you here .NET new install like that and then Umbraco dot templates obviously I do already have the uh, template already installed so uh, this is just to show you how to how to do that I guess it's it will be replaced with the latest version. Uh, the following template package will be installed. Okay, it's already installed. Yeah, and it did some stuff and then it went and said, okay, all good, right? Now let's just start a new project. So I'm going to go and say .NET, right, new, Umbraco, and then new, like this, uh, sorry, name, like this. I'm going to just say my site, right? So just like that, it's basically starting a new site for me, okay? It took it a second. If I go to directory now, I have a new directory called my site, right? This my site right here is exactly your .NET project, but I'm not going to go there yet. I just want to show you without even touching the code, it's all C -sharp .NET open source code. You know, I'm just going to go and say .NET run. That's all I'm going to do here. Check this out. Building, building the project. Automatically, it will download the, you know, at the time of releasing this video, it's, you know, version 15, that's the latest and greatest. Just spun up a bunch of background services and all that. And if I pick up one of these, you end up with a view like that. How crazy is that? It's helping you set up the, the admin portal. So I'm just going to go and say Hassan, Habib, and Hassan, Habib at live.com. I'm just going to put a password in there. And then I'm gonna keep me updated. Ah, not not for this demo, right? So okay, so set it setting things up. You get to choose to choose whether you wanna put it on a SQL Server, Express Local DB, or an Azure SQL, whatever you wanna do to kind of save data, right? SQL Lite meaning built in, sitting right here right now, no problem, right? I'm gonna call it Umbraco Database Demo, just so I can identify the database and show you what it's doing behind the scenes. There we go. 
Okay, installed a bunch of things, great. Now this username and password that I just created, I'm gonna use it to log in and start the website. Here's your, here's just like that, just within, I literally just started, right? And you have packages, users, you can add users to your, to your system. Of course, you're the super admin that just started this whole thing as things should start. They start with someone with intent and creativity and then everything happens. And, um, this is the site okay so I want to add a site like where is the site this is the management of the site how do I add a site well you have a bunch of options you can go outside of the box and just go to a bunch of templates like these go to themes and starter kit I played around with this clean starter kit you literally are installing a NuGet package and it does the rest for you so I'm not even gonna do that I'm just gonna show you first like if you go to this URL just this URL right now that's basically it saying you don't have you don't have anything set up yet right so the, the URL basically says you're not ready yet you don't have any website really going on for you right okay what if I just want something going on for me I'm gonna go here into packages and then I'm gonna go into um, uh, like I said themes and starter kits and then I'll pick up clean right so clean right here I'll copy this I'll go back to the command line, I'll, I'll terminate the site, I'll clean all of that, and then I'll just install the package clean. Let's do that. Install.net build. Let's build things just to make sure things are running. Here we go. And then .net run again. Watch this. Here we go bunch of things bunch of things and then going back here if I go back to this site that didn't have anything in it running if I refresh watch this boom you have a blog or starter kit it has the about section it has the blog it has the contact information okay where do I manage that stuff from well if you go back to content in the admin area let me just refresh this area a little bit you have a home features you know I can I can modify so how this thing works is that you have a template like if you go into the um, the settings area you have a bunch of templates and these templates has actual C sharp written into it all of this is X uh, uh, C, 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 HTML pages your classic razor pages and you can literally add anything you want in there and it's all C sharp running like that if you're familiar with that great if you don't, that's basically how the whole site is, is written. And it has a bunch of partial views. It has a bunch of style sheets. That's where it pulls the style sheets from. And uh, basically, essentially, you know, and then a bunch of scripts in here. Let's just do a, a quick change. I want to show you, like, what it's like to do a quick change. So if you go into, uh, you know, something like a, you know, the features, for instance, the feature page right this feature page has a bunch of text boxes text boxes for rows and whatnot right what is this feature page actually relying on like what kind of templates we're not relying on a template called content right so if I go into content it'll show me that it kind of goes and picks up values that you passed in as input parameters into this guy right so if we go here and click on features you will see this, you know, bold, italic, left align, right align, bullet list, whatever, whatever, right? All of that stuff that's in there, that stuff is basically coming from the inputs into that feature page. So you see how in here you have the text box row. Look, this is all the content that that it were added into that particular page. Image row, you can use an image row to render some full image so let's see what it's like to kind of change something right like I'll go here and say net is awesome like that I'm just gonna click update and then it's gonna say save and publish or save and preview save and preview if you're not really see net awesome but it's just a preview it's a version look how it's versioning at the top so you don't have to kind of you know publish something and put it out there in public before you're actually ready for something to be released right well I do like what it looks like I'm just gonna click save and publish and now it's published and if I go back to the actual site like that and and click on features you'll see .NET is awesome right here there's obviously a lot going on into this what I love about Umbraco is that the community 
very live and well community. It's not just some abandoned CMS sitting on the side. No, this is this is something that people are actively, you know, doing things for. See, last month is the last update. If you go to the releases, they just released the 15.1.1 about uh, two weeks ago. Uh, it's active. This is this is a thing that you can rely on. This is not some abandoned ware that's sitting in the middle of GitHub of nowhere and no you can actually see the contributions and even more and more contributions and even more and more features and issues and the, there's a whole party going on here and obviously the Umbraco CMS has uh, 4.6 uh, 4,600 stars 2,700 forks it's going right it's under MIT license you can do whatever you want with it easy peasy right okay let's get to the nerdy part of this well, I do have the site running. That's great. But what if I do? I'm a .NET guy. I want to explore and see how things look like. So it's it's literally a C Sharp project. It's a C Sharp .NET project that's running like this. And remember all these views that the, the component added and whatnot? They're literally views that are hidden here that you can modify also as code. I'll prove it to you, right? Uh, just be aware, like you're modifying templates what was the template name? It was called uh, content. This content guy right here, right? The, 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 the data that goes into that content template is what I added on the site and that what gets added into the database. But how the content itself is working, you know, how the code is handling that content, that's what's happening in here, right? Uh, I'll just do a rebuild for you just to show you that things are actually running. There you go, here's a rebuild. And then you get to do the partial async and whatnot. But I'll show you something super quick in here. I'm going to go modify the template itself. I'm going to go and say label. This is coming from uh, Visual Studio uh, Code, something like that, right? So this is literally me saying I'm going to modify the template as an engineer, not as a content creator or someone who's modifying the content or whatnot. You can do it either way. It doesn't matter. And then I'm going to click play. You know, you know how I was clicking run? I can pl click play as well. Let's wait for this guy to run. There we go. Yeah, there you go. And then I'm going to go into the... Um, I modified the content template, which is in the features. There you go. This is coming from Visual Studio Code. Right. So what does this mean? It means that for you as a C sharp developer, right, if you want to call services, you know, do something in the code internally in the code, by all means, go ahead and and get your code in and make the calls that you need. Like if, for instance, if I want to, I don't know, I want to break this guy uh, into, let's say I, I built, let's go here and say just here is a an ad. And then I'm going to create a folder. I'm going to call it services. And then I'm going to create a dummy service. Like I'm going to say uh, text service. Text service like this. And this service basically has a, I don't know, a, a public static string get text. Hello from text service like that. Right? So that's your C sharp code. Now I can go into this content template. Right, and I go and say, I don't know, instead of this label, here's another label, right? And I can go and say new uh, text service because that's what we called it. And then, or actually, since it's static, so it's text service dot, let me pull the, here you go, and then get text and just render that C sharp code right there and then. The red is annoying, I agree, but. Uh, you know, I'm hoping that, I don't know, if I unload and reload the site, let me save this first, and then reload the site. Let's go here. Reload project. Is it running? Uh, reload project with dependencies. I don't know, do I have to reopen it? Let's reopen it. Save. Let's try this again. So here's my project. And then uh, I wanted to open up the content. Is it still all red and stuff? No, it's much better looking like that. 
no, still red. I don't know why it's doing that. But uh, anyway, uh, let's try to run it again. But this time it's going to call my service, that quick service that I built. And it's going to render text that's coming from that service particular, particularly. Let's find out. There we go. And then you want to basically go and say, you know, I want to... Uh, I want to go to features. It should call my service. Here you go. Hello from text service. So you see how that works, right? You write C sharp code. It renders the C sharp code into the page. The page renders and runs. Pull content. Make your content dynamic. On a click of a button, go call an API and do something with the API. So have templates and you have data and you have Umbraco containing all that. What about deployment? right deployment is just as simple as going right click and publish and then you go and publish to azure you know select an azure service uh, find a an azure app service in windows and then you go and select whatever you want to select and then you just do it this way it's your classic 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 umbraco website you know just just like everything else uh, that's pretty much it very interesting uh my plan for uh the next few months is to actually rewrite my entire blog if you go to hassanhabib.com that's my blog uh, my personal blog I'm gonna rewrite all of it in Umbraco because it's obviously really really amazing like if I want to do special things with my uh, uh, blog I don't have to deal with PHP or WordPress or Joomla or any of these you know things anymore but also I want to point out that there are other really nice .NET um, uh, content management systems out there like .NET Nuke you know there is uh, there's many of them, you know, I can't, I can't even remember. I did a big research on these and, you know, most of these communities are doing some amazing work. Some of them even, um, you know, really close, you know, to the rise and, and popularity, the time of rise and popularity of WordPress. It, you know, they started that community and they said, let's go. Remember, C Sharp started in 2001. So it's been around for quite a while now. And, uh, you know, there are communities that build things with it that you can't even imagine. Uh, I hope you find this useful, you know, shout out to my friend T who was, you know, wanted to kind of learn how to do this. I was like, Hassan, if you kind of can give me some content around this, help me out. I want to build a website. Uh, I think if you have something interesting to share about the tech industry and whatnot, you know, go ahead and spin up, you know, an Umbraco site and put your content out there. And I hope you find this useful. Thank you so much for watching as usual. If you have any comments, questions, concerns, you know, please feel free to drop a comment in the comment section. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Thank you so much. Take care.